Hi, this is Ria, and I'm with Metro CSG. Today, I'm going to show you how Microsoft Forms can help streamline customers' insights through a customer survey form. With its easy-to-use tools and templates, it can help your business grow by reaching out to your customers or audience. To access Microsoft Forms, go to its website and click the Sign In button. It will prompt you to the Microsoft Sign In page, or if you have an Office account, go to its Apps Launcher and choose Forms. Then it will prompt you to your Microsoft Forms account or dashboard, where you can see all the forms that you have made and that have been shared with you, and those that have been added in your groups or in your Microsoft Teams. You can also create a new collection depending on what you need. I've made a sample collection here for customer success, and now let's try to make a form. Put a name of the form, and you can also include a logo that you can import either from Bing Search or OneDrive or from your computer. You can also make a description of the form where you can include the objectives of your survey. Forms has diverse types of questionnaires like ratings, choice, text, Likert, Net Promoter Scale, and Rankings. You can also add a section where you can subdivide your topic. And for this customer survey, let's try to use Sales. And for question number one, we're going to use Ratings. And you have an option to choose the level and the symbol of the questions. And let us make this a required question. For question number two, let us try to use Rankings, where your respondent has a chance to rank a particular attributes of the questions based from the options that you have given to them. For the next item, we will use the choice type of question where we can give our respondents options to choose from. Say for example, this question is asking what are the sales process that they think needs more improvement. So we are giving them all the sales processes that we have and we can also enable the multiple answers just in case our respondents want to answer more than one option. You can also click add other option to give your respondents ideas on what to choose if the options are not included on the specific answers. But for this vlog, we will not include that since we have specific sales processes. Our next stop is to use additional section and you can use operations for instance. So next question, we're going to use the Likert scaling, and this is applicable when we use statements and a respondent indicates how much he or she agree or disagree with a statement. So for this example, we are trying to compare between the processes of client delivery and the output of service delivery, and the respondents can choose depending on the expectations they got from their services. Another type of question you can use is the Net Promoter Score. This is a metric used in Customer Experience Program, and it shows how loyal customers are toward a company, product, or services. You can use range, for example, 0 to 10, so that you can establish your customer's perception toward your services. Sample question is like how likely you are to recommend our service to a friend or colleague. And just like any other survey form, we can use text for questions when you want to know the feedback of our respondents. You can enable long answer or you can disable require depending on how you need it. Now our survey is done. We can now create the theme we want to use just to look it presentable and more attractive. Let's choose a theme. And let's go to the settings. Click duplicate or collaborate so that you have an option to share the form to collaborate or share it as a template. Just copy paste the link embedded on it. Then you can also use the multilingual button if you want to add additional languages. This is used when you want the questions to be translated in other languages. Then go to settings so that you can know who can fill out the form whether you want only people in your organization or specific people. Then you have an option to allow one response per person. Or anyone can respond for this case who are using customer survey form. Then make sure that you check the accept responses so that you can receive all the responses given. And 
You also have an option to click show progress bar and customize thank you message just to make it more personalized. And for the response receipts, you also have an option to allow receipts of responses or get email notifications. But if you are using this for many people, just uncheck it if you don't want flooding of email notifications. You can get to preview the form on how it looks like on a computer or a mobile device. Then the last step is to click the collect response button so that you can see all the available options on how to distribute the forms. You can use the link just like how we did in our settings a while ago, or you can also copy the embedded link. You can also use the QR code or email the form to your respondent so it's readily available auto forms. Then click send. To check all the responses, you can click the responses tab to know the responses being made real time. You can also click the open in Excel button so that you can have a table form of the responses. That's it. Hope you were able to see how Microsoft Forms can help you in collaboration and productivity. For more productivity tips, like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.